hugged and cried and I thought that's that's part of the magic of um, being open to those kinds of special things happening and I think people with a terminal illness like ALS develop that awareness and that openness to magical things happening and I thought afterwards I want that magic to continue I want to keep it going so that was when I decided to do the skydiving. I am here because I have ALS also known as Lou Gehrig's disease the full name is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis it's a fatal terminal illness usually three to five years after diagnosis and uh, your body just starts losing all the muscle voluntary muscle including the tongue so you know, speaking swallowing eating and at the very end if you make it that far without falling and killing yourself you end up with what's called the glass coffin which is you can't move anything, do anything. The only thing that works are your eyes. You, the feeling when you're up there and you, and you look down and, you, and you're being part of the sky and you look down and say, there really aren't big problems in my life. There could be, like something horrible might be happening with, with you, but if you put it in the big picture, the universe, the earth, it's everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. One of the reasons Kathy and I were talking so much about death and dying was because I lost my mom last month and I had been caring for her for several months. Um, she was on hospice the last few weeks. When you're caring for a terminally ill person, you don't have a lot of freedom. And I knew I had a lot of my restrictions were taken away from me while I was caring for her. And I was so glad I was able to do it. But um, it's a lot of responsibility. And I think this is the first time since my mom died that I really kind of felt, you know, that weight lifting and that freedom and um, Greg asked me when we were suiting up he do you know any uh, angels mostly little. <coughs> yeah, I do. okay they're gonna be up there with you so reach out there and grab a handful of angel okay. yeah and have a good time think about the people that you know that might be cruising around up there watching over you and have a good time and I immediately thought of my mom and my dad and my brother and so when when I was dropping I did say hello to them because I felt very close to them out there so.